Hey YouTube, so yesterday I attended the IMATS, which was in New York City. I haven't been in New York City since I think I was in elementary school, so that was an experience within itself. Um, the event was very well attended. I think actually yesterday the that the um, the event sold out. Um, a lot of people, very crowded. The, some of the booths that I wanted to go to the most, like the Royal and Lang Nickel and the, um, the Nyx booth, the lines were like a mile long. I think um, Inglot was there. I didn't get a chance to go to the Inglot booth. I did see some of the um, gurus that I'm subscribed to on YouTube, like the Queen of Blending and... Um, Encore, I did see them there, but of course I didn't have my camera when I saw them, so I couldn't get pictures of them. I just wanted to um, show you some of the things that I picked up from the event, and then after this I'll show you some of the pictures that I took at the event, and then some pictures in New York City in general, and then I have a little short clip of a little cute video to show you at the end. Um, first of all, this is the, um, the little bag that they gave you when you came to the event and it says IMATS on one side and then the sponsor are Royal and Lang Nickel on the other side. And that's what I pretty much put all of my purchases purchases in. Um, the first booth that I stopped at was LA Splash and I was shocked that they weren't more crowded than they were. Every other booth I sort of had to fight my way to the front to sort of look at the products that I wanted to buy and I noticed that a lot of the people that were there were like way more prepared than I was. They had a list of everything that they wanted to buy and they were just there getting what they wanted. Um, I didn't have anything in mind that I wanted to buy. I really just pretty much wanted to experience, I feel like I'm not, that's better. I wanted to experience the event and then, you know, just pick up, you know, whatever I saw that interested me. So that's what I did. But I stopped at LA Splash first and picked up a few things. They had a deal where you could buy five five items and spend thirty dollars i got six items because i wanted to get the um the splash poo sealer eyeshadow base so i got that which is supposed to be good for um glitter pigments or glitter eyeshadows so i got that i got three of the liquid liners i have not opened up anything so i won't be swatching it. i'll just show you what they look like in the packaging so i got three liquid liners and i got colors that I know I don't have at home. Cause sometimes I just want like a color. I don't want to hold, do the whole eye color thing. So a liquid liner and color is exactly what I was looking for. So the first one that I got was called Royal Blue. And that is the liner in Royal Blue. I got um, Teal Mania. And that looks like this. And I got um, Purple Tide. I don't know why they call it purple because it looks like a hot pink to me. So that's why I got it. There is no purple in this at all. I wonder if they mislabeled it, but this is not purple at all. It's pink. Um, and I got one of these Smoky Eye Eyeshadow Duos. And that looks like this. Let me take the top off. Well, if I can, I'll yeah, unscrew the top for you. And it is called actually Hydro Smoke. Hopefully you can see this. Yeah, it's called Hydro Smoke. And while I have that there, I'll just show you. This is what Hydro Smoke looks like. Okay. So I got that and then I got one um, creamy eyeshadow base. It's called the Enlightened Creamy Eyeshadow Base. And this is in Illuminating. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so that was it for what I got from LA Splash. My next stop, I think I got kind of into the pushing my way to the front. And I did make it to the Royal and Lang Nickel booth. And what I wanted to do was to find a brush set for my kit 
something that I would just totally put in my kit and not use for me at all. And I did find this one in this nice pink. Okay, so my memory card went full on me. But what I was saying is I got this pink um, snake print sort of case with, um, I think it has 12 brushes in it. One second, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen brushes, actually. And this is what it looks like. You can see I haven't had a chance to open anything yet. Everything was still in the bag until I just came in here to show you. And I did check the brushes out at the stand before I picked them up. They are nice and soft. They don't scratch or anything. And that was my concern with um, using these on a client's face that they wouldn't be all scratchy. So this is specifically my, for my case. Um, the regular price for this was $49.99. I got this for $25 at the event yesterday. I got, this is specifically for me. I don't know how much this retails for, but I think I paid um, $13. $13 for this one. This brush here, which is it's just a, what do they call it? Dome Kabuki with handle. And it's nice and soft. And I picked up two other, um, just their essential brushes. I think they're like a dollar or two, maybe two dollars a piece. One is just the angled um, brow brush. And then I picked up a lip brush also. So not too exciting. Um, I stopped past the act, the Makeup Artist Magazine um, booth. And that's one of the other sponsors of the, I guess that's the main sponsor of the event. And just picked up a t-shirt that just says I'm at New York and then with that t-shirt they also gave me they gave me free a um, Royal and Lang Nichols silk brush and this is just a if you can see it's just a um, eyeshadow brush as well I think when I I um, ordered makeup artist magazine I got the same brush free as well and I hope you can see that because it's still in the package and it's hard to take out. Um, I made it to the Stila booth next and I went there with nothing in mind that I wanted. And then I happened past, I, there was a nice lady at the um, Stila booth who was really, really helpful. And um, she was showing me these palettes and they had them on sale. And I think they retail for about, I think she said about $39. And I got this one for $24 or $24.50. It is the Stila In The Moment eyeshadow palette. And it looks like this on the inside. So it has all the purple colors to it. And then it has a, like a plum colored um, liner at the bottom called Tetra. So that's what that looks like. And if you want me to do any swatches on anything, let me know. But it also came with a little lookbook that has like um, different looks you can do with this palette. Let's see if I can. And it looks a little better, but. Okay, so those are some of the looks that you can do with this palette, which I'm excited to try. Why do I feel like I look so dark today? Maybe because it's nighttime and I'm blinding myself with light. But anyway, um, the other thing that I got, I did happen to just ask her if they had any tinted moisturizers. And they did have one because I'm having a hard time. I did pick up, and this is before the event, this one from Smashbox. And it's in dark, and it's too dark for me. Maybe in the summertime it'll be a little lighter. So she did um, show me, you know, see if I can pull it out the bottom. She did help me with this one. And I just... Don't want to mess my nails up. I just did them. But um, this is their Tinted Moisturizer in Deep. So I got that also. And then my last stop at um, the IMATS was at the NYX um, booth, which was outrageously crowded when I first got there. But by the time I made my way back around, it wasn't so bad so I was able to pick up a few things I picked up quite a few um quite a few eyeliners I got one lip liner and that is in edge pink and that looks see like that so that's the edge pink 
and I hope and hope that that is not one that I already have. One of my eyeliners just rolled across the room. Um, I have fuchsia and da, 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 hot pink. So great, no edge pink. I feel like I look so dark, like my camera is just so dark today. So these are the eyeliners that I got. I got um, purple. And purple looks like that. I got, this one is a glittery one. It's called Sky Shimmer. And that's the, and it looks like this. It, oh, I wish I could show you it has glitter in it. I got um, baby pink, which I was thinking to use in the inner rim of my eye. Why would I swatch this and not swatch anything else, right? But this is going to be used in the, the inner rim of the eye just to brighten it up a bit. So that's baby pink. I got another glittery one. And this one is called green glitter. And it looks like that. Okay, I got a teal one, and it's just straight up called teal, and it looks like that. It's, this is crazy, swatching some stuff and not swatching the other ones. Okay, that's the teal. Um, I got Emerald City, which is a dark green. Hope you can see that one. And then I got Electric Blue, which looks like that wow that's pretty looks like that so sorry for swatching some of them and not swatching all of them just let me know if you want to see swatches of everything um i got three of the mega shines i got one in a plush red so yeah that this is the plush red i got burgundy which looks like this. And I got plum, I think it's called. Yeah, this is plum. So I got those three because most of my um, mega shines look like, I keep dropping stuff on the floor, knocking, they look like this. Everything wants to be like a neutral color or something. So I wanted to get something with a little color. I think the only other one I have here that has a lot of color is Dolly Pink. That I already had and that um that's it that's the only colorful one I have I picked up one cream blush and I got this one in orange so orange is supposed to be the color of the year so I got that um, I got one eyeshadow and this color is called Luxor and hopefully you can see that it's sort of like a purple with some blue in it it looks like to me if you can see that color and then the last thing I got, I think it's pretty new from um, NYX, and it's called the Illuminating Bronzer. And I got the color Chaotic, IBB02 Chaotic. And let me show you what that looks like. It's, it's not like any other bronzer that I have. It sort of looks like, this is what the packaging looks like. Um, it sort of looks like a blush to me instead of a bronzer but I thought it was pretty. It'll probably be more of a highlight to me than it will uh, um, a blush, but I thought that was different, so I picked that up. Um, I think that that is pretty much it for what I got from IMAX. I will say I, the, the experience was a little bit overwhelming. I think if I go again next year, I will be more prepared. I'll have a list of everything just like everybody else did. I'll know what to expect when I go. Um, Thank you so much for watching this video and I will put pictures after this to let you see everything that I saw actually. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.